Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's vlog. Today is Wednesday, right? Yes. So it's Wednesday. Zelda. What are you doing? Hush. But today is Wednesday. I am going to head out right now and go to the outlet, see if I can find some cool stuff. I'm only going to be there for a little bit because Abby is getting her nostrils pierced today, and I'm going to go with her so that I can film that. Hopefully that will be interesting to see. Um, yesterday's vlog is uploading right now. It is the longest vlog we've ever done, uh, mainly because there was like a 12-minute pickup section at the end. But we went to Seaside, had a ton of fun. If you missed yesterday's vlog, please check it out. And uh, yeah, I'm going to the outlet now, so I will see you guys in a bit. So I'm only going to be at the outlet for a short amount of time. It is 11.14 right now, and Abby's appointment uh, to get her nostrils pierced is at one, I believe. So I'm only gonna be there for slightly over an hour, if that. I mean, if I get there and it sucks and there's nothing to find, then I'm not gonna stick around. But um, hopefully I can find some cool stuff. Usually what I call this, when I, when I just go to the outlet and I don't plan on staying, I call it that I'm just going to pick up the scraps uh, because there's other people there who are full-time resellers and they do eBay and Amazon and stuff. So usually if you're not there when the rotations come out, all of the really good stuff will be taken by other people. So when that happens and then I come in, I just pick up the scraps and get the little, you know, get the leftovers that either the other people don't want or that they don't know is worth money. Sometimes I still find some good stuff, but any of the obvious items are gonna be taken already, of course, but we're going now. It takes me about 10 minutes to get there, and then I will try and film a little bit while I'm there. All right, guys, I just left the outlet. Sorry I didn't film in there, but I was only there for a short amount of time, and I pretty much spent 100% of that time digging through stuff. I had to be quick. There was a couple bins of media, which is mixed DVDs, VHS, CDs, video games. They were about to take them away, so I had to dig through them pretty quick, but I found some cool stuff. Um, it was definitely worth my time to come up here. I was here for like, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes or so, but I'm headed home now because Abby's appointment is coming up in like 23 minutes, so I gotta be quick. I will show you guys the stuff when I can, hopefully before we go to her appointment. If I have to show them afterwards though, I'll just insert the footage before so you guys can see it right after this clip. All right, so this is the stuff that I found at the outlet today. We got a Genesis six button controller. The coating on the cable was ripped, but not the actual cable itself. So I'm just gonna throw some, some electrical tape on there. Got an Xbox 360 AV cable, Mario Party 8 strategy guide. And I get the strategy guides for the price of like magazines or kids books. So that was 39 cents. Got this Iron Man figure here. Mark 43, online. So this is probably like two bucks or something. I got this pretty cool Tiger handheld, Bo Jackson baseball and football. It has some corrosion and uh, there's like something rattling around inside of it, but, but I can open it up and clean it up. Got a Wii system, which if you ever see Wiis, if you kind of pry it open a little bit, it's not gonna show up on camera because it's too dark, but if you kind of pry it open, you can see a little piece of metal in there, which means there's a disc in it. So this one has a disc in it, and uh, in a minute, I'm gonna take this up to the garage, plug it in and see what that is. Got an empty case and manual for NBA Jam. Found a disc copy of New You, Mind, Body, Yoga, and Pilates Workout. This is kind of an uncommon game. Uh, I think we have a complete one for the store right now, which is priced at 25. So disc only copy, probably 15. Found Metroid Prime 3 complete, Toy Story 3 complete, Armored Core 2 complete, and then empty cases for Mario Kart Wii and Animal Crossing for the DS. And then I found these VHS. Some pretty cool stuff in here that I don't find all the time. So that's the stuff that I got today. Uh, there was a few other things that were not video game related, of course, but uh, that's it for all the stuff that's game related or toy related or anything for the game store. I just picked up Abby and now we're going to get her nose pierced. So Abby got her nose pierced. The guy didn't want us to film, unfortunately. 
Um, he he said it's bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> so, but she got it done. Both sides. And she still has her septum pierced too, but she took it out so he would have more room. But now we're going to head back home. Alright guys, I'm out here in the garage, and it is the moment of truth. Plugging in the Wii system, and we are going to see what is in here. What could it be? Bam! Wii Fit! Damn it! Hi, baby. Oh, you're so cute. You sleeping? Sleepy. Guys, I am actually headed back to the outlet for the second time today. Abby is going to the gym tonight, so I didn't have much to do. Figured I'd go back to the outlet, see if I can find anything else. So. This time, I'm gonna try to remember to do, to do some filming in there, so let's go. Going to the outlet. Alright guys, I just left the outlet for the second time today. I propped my camera up on the back of the car. It works perfectly. So, my friend David was here and I bought a couple things from him that he brought for me. Got a GameCube system, PS2 Slim, gray N64 controller, and a wired black 360 controller. And then he just gave me the Game Boy power adapter. So I told him I didn't want it, so he said just take it for free. And then from the outlet, grabbed a 2006 Alice Cooper tour shirt. I got this plush. I'm not exactly sure what it's from. Obviously it's from some anime. I got a Homer with the tag, Krusty with the tag, and Bart with the tag. These are newer, but still cool. I got a Play School My Buddy doll. His hat's kind of coming off, but cheapest one is almost $40 on eBay. Another thing that my friend David, he just gave me, which he found is this Sears shop at home little catalog thing, and it is so cool to look through. I might actually do a video on this comparing some of the prices in this to what they are now, because it's just crazy. I got this 1994 Jurassic Park helicopter. Very cool. 1980 Superman plastic cup. A sealed thing of dog treats, which expire in 2019 for my dogs. New hat for Abby. Uh, another thing for my friend David, a Wavebird controller. I have receivers at home. And then I got a stack of cassette tapes here, which I will show you quickly. And then like a 1988 April O'Neil figure, Kid Robot, uh, whatever this guy's name is from Futurama, Disney Infinity figure. And then just some other random toys and stuff in there. Then I got one PS1 game, Inspector Gadget, nothing special. But then I found a stack of PS1 manuals. There were Wild Arms, Alundra, Bugs Life, Final Fantasy VII, Breath of Fire III, Allied General, Guardians Crusade, Monster Rancher 2, and Sui Koden. So, Unfortunately, no games for any of those, but that was awesome. And then a bunch more VHS. We'll see horror stuff. There's 
and those are the last ones there. So that's everything that I just got for my second trip to the outlet and I'm going to head back home now. All right guys, so before I head home, I'm actually going to go to my friend Josh's house and he has a bunch of video games and some toys and stuff for me that I'm gonna purchase from him. So I'm gonna grab that stuff from him and then I will show you what I got when I get back home. I just got back from my friend Josh's house and I got way more stuff than I was expecting to. He gave me a bunch of stuff for free. So, and I bought more stuff, of course. So I'm going to unload the car and then I'll show you everything that I got. All right guys, so Abby's filming for me because there's a ton of stuff. I just got back from Josh's house and I'm gonna go through what I got from him. Got the Guitar Hero 2 in the box for Xbox 360. Game and controller and all that. Got a Platinum GameCube with the Game Boy Player on the bottom, but no disc. Got a Nintendo 64, the regular jumper pack, but reset button's not stuck. There's some Sharpie on there, but I'll be able to get that off. There is a black Wii system. No game in it, but that is fine. Um, and then we have this. It says Newbie Manufacturing Co. And inside is an original Game Boy. No battery cover. The screen's scratched up, but it works. And then a little handful of Game Boy games here. Let me get them out. That's like a hard shell plastic case. It's kind of cool. We have Donkey Kong, WCW, the main event, Xenon 2, Contra, the Alien Wars, Turtles 2, Back from the Sewers, a mystery game. We will take a look at that in a minute, find out what it is. Pokemon Blue and Chuck Rock. Then he gave me for free empty cases for Attack for the GameCube and Sonic Spinball. Uh, then we have an Extreme Green N64 controller. We have a wireless sensor bar for the Wii. GameCube microphone. A little bag here with a bunch of Game Boy manuals. I haven't even looked at these yet, but that's pretty cool. It's a PS2 memory card. That's going in my pocket because it's going downstairs. And we have a PAL version of Sonic Heroes. This is probably just gonna have to go on eBay and ship it internationally. We have Star Fox Adventures and Finding Nemo for the GameCube. There's a sealed Jumanji PSP movie. 101 in one explosive Mega Mix Atlas game for the DS. A PlayStation Network Adapter Startup Disc. Then there's a few disc only, Mario Galaxy 2, Michael Jackson, Spyro, and Lego Dimensions, Wii U. And then I'm gonna try and do the video game stuff first. Got a Fire Orange N64 controller. The stick was loose, he said, but he had, in this bag here, he had a replacement joystick for it already, so that's awesome. In this bag also are a couple Xbox 360 memory cards, PlayStation 1 memory cards, a WaveBird battery cover. Then we have a white Game Boy Advance. The battery cover, the little tab is broken so it falls out and it's pretty yellowed, but it does work. And then we also have DK Bongos for the GameCube. And then we got a lot of toys. So there's a 1991 Horrifying Mario mask. <laughs> There's an Ultimate Warrior mask. This one is 1991 as well. And then there's a Batman mask, which is 1989. So I can't believe this has survived because it's the flimsiest piece of crap ever. <laughs> then we got the other half to Snake Mountain or Skull Mountain, whatever it's called, for the that He-Man set that we picked up at the garage sale. It's got the microphone and everything. And this is awesome. It to have completed that. I can't believe he only had the one half that we didn't have. That's pretty crazy. So how does the microphone work? Oh, you have to have batteries, huh? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, then 
We have a Freddy Krueger NECA figure and also the Jason one. And we have a Swamp Thing figure. We have a Pony. This is 87 Hasbro, so this is official My Little Pony. And we have three Dragon Ball Z figures here. The Cell figure is like $50, depending on condition. Then this is a bag of Star Wars figures, mostly like late 90s and 2000s stuff, nothing too special. Then a bag that has uh, Splinter and two turtles in there with all of their weapons and all the extra little pieces. Then we have guy's name uh bebop or rocksteady i don't know which one <laughs> and then four gi joe figures i don't know if these are anything special maybe maybe not then i'm not going to go through this box but there's a little mario figure and then like a pokemon cyclone 2 and then a bunch of muscle men, and then little Pikachu. the Sonic coin bank that I already have, and then the rest of this is just filled. You can just like zoom in. There's like some Funko stuff. There's a bunch of Pokemon figures, and there's like Sonic the Hedgehog figures and Mario figures and Rayman watch. Just like Rick and Morty stuff. Just a lot of random little figures. And then he gave me a bunch of stuff for free, and this is what he gave me for free. So much stuff. Lots of like 70s Star Wars toys and a bunch of G.I. Joe vehicles and stuff. There's a He-Man vehicle, Street Fighter vehicle, um, some Disney Infinity figures, that Crash figure, um, just a bunch of other stuff. Like I said, he just gave all this stuff to me for free, and most of it is just parts and pieces. There isn't really, like, a complete set for anything here, but for it all to be free, that's pretty good. So, thank you so much to Josh for that stuff. That was awesome, and hopefully I can find a good use for this stuff. I have a couple friends who are into collecting retro toys and everything, so maybe they can use some of these to complete stuff that they have, or... You know, I'll figure out something to do with it, but that was awesome. So thank you again, Josh. And yeah, I think that's it for, for this. We're gonna head inside and have some dinner. So we are going to plug in this Game Boy game, see what it is. There's a tiny bit of color right there, some red and blue, but we're gonna see what this is. <phone rings> Super Mario Land 2! What's going on out here? Oh, you scared the poop out of me. <laughs> <sighs> what are you doing? Just playing with you. Why are you talking so quiet? Because you scared me. Let me see your nose. Does it still hurt? Uh, not really. Look how much money I have. 11,642. The richest I'll ever be. <laughs> well, I'm going to end the vlog. Okay. <laughs> bye, guys. Have a good night. Abby says bye. Thank good you guys day. so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.